guys, what's up? Welcome back to Big John TV. Got an awesome taste test Tuesday. For you? Yeah. Because of Big John TV, we're all about food, food family, and fun. On Tuesdays, we like to find new foods to try. Uh, it's usually limited edition, seasonal, trending, things that grab our attention while we're shopping. Today's twist is going to be it's actually a friend mail Tuesday. We're going to be taste testing some goods that are in this box. There we go. Boom. Uh, we love getting boxes. We love getting food sent to us. It is a, it's been a big part of our channel. We really, really appreciate it, whether it's a company, um, a fresh new company, a seasoned company, or you just you want us to try your family's favorite snacks exactly. from, from around the world. It's huge. We love it, and we thank you. We love the, the thought that goes into it. We love the interaction. Yep. It's just awesome all the way around. Right. Do you know what's in the box? Maddie. Beef jerky. We got a big old box of beef jerky. Uh, pardon. I was going to say, Let's... disclosure here, Jamie is dealing with massive allergies today. We were going to let him sit out, but when people send us stuff, we'd like to get everybody involved. Whether he eats or not, we'll see. But we all do really appreciate people sending us stuff, right? Yeah. We do. Yeah. So, beef jerky. Beef we jerky. I love, love beef jerky. We love beef jerky. We're talking about Wicked Cuts beef jerky. South Lake, Texas. They said, they said, hey, we saw you do a taste test video recently with some beef jerky. How can we get you to review ours? I said, send us some. Pretty easy. <laughs> and we'll get right to it. This is a hefty box. I don't know anything about the company. I don't know anything about their products. But... Our reviews are unbuyable, unbribable. They are they are ours. They will always 100% be ours. 100 our own. Um, hopefully, you're seeing this video. If you're, I mean, if you're not, how do I word that? I don't know what you're trying. If to If it's say. complete garbage, you won't see a video anyway. We'll just throw it away. We won't make a video out of it. But um, this is uncured bacon jerky. That's oh. not true. If it was garbage, we'd want to tell them that it was garbage. Um, there was a company. That sent me some barbecue rubs. Right. And we did not make a video because it was absolute garbage. Right. And I but said, it was... I said, I'm not putting my name on this. Right. Even for free product, even if you were to pay me, I'm not doing it. And we didn't work for the company. Right. So. But that one was slightly different because they were wanting to pay us to do it. True. But it was garbage. So I didn't want to work with it. So and that's just how I am. Yeah. We were like, well, we have to try it before we <laughs> endorse it and... Tell people. Uh, all right, so all that being said, we're here for some jerky. Yeah, Good back yeah. stories. Thanks for hooking us up. Um, what do you got? Uncured bacon jerky, Wicked Cuts, high quality premium jerky, Ooh. breakfast style, handcrafted with premium uncured bacon. Ooh. Now we have high quality beef jerky. This is a barbecue mesquite flavor. Ooh, Jamie, you're going to love that one. Barbecue flavor is going to be a good one. Um, there's a lot of words on the back. There are. It says, We believe you deserve a better jerky. Jerky that is so artfully created or crafted that it inspires an instinctual reaction of high fives and fist bumps, not polite head nods. Jerky that delivers a satisfaction so good that it can only be rivaled by tapping out a full grown grizzly with your bare hands. We are wicked cuts, and this is why we do wickedly awesome jerky. Love it. Nice. All right, we have. Orange teriyaki. Ooh, that oh, sounds good. That's the one I've good. always wanted. Orange teriyaki. So I like we have... Car oh. Oh. Uh, are you about to say oh. Carolina Reaper? I am. Um, oh, no. We've um, got some... Maybe we'll just smell that hey, one. Hey, can we save it for a different video for you two? <laughs> We've got Carolina Killer. Uh. High quality Costco we Tree Meat. We tried to do a Carolina Reaper jerky the other day that just about knocked us out. Well, they saw it, hopefully. Yeah. If you didn't, I'll link it up above and you um, should go watch it. Probably how they found it. See, manufactured in the USA, Wicked Cuts, South Lake, Texas. They're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. And their social, you know, their website is wickedcuts with a Z dot com. Nice. So here's a cool twist, and we're not going to be able to get to, we're going to get to all the jerkies. But what else is in this box we're not going to get to today, but I'm super stoked. we got some dry rubs in here. Oh, nice. Some dry rubs. And I've been looking ahead. I've been cheating. Texas Ranch Seasoning. Ooh. Uh, oh, get, it gets better. on your popcorn. Veggie Blend Seasoning. Yum. American Heat Seasoning. Oh. 
sweet barbecue seasoning. That one. All good. right, you ready? Because we're gonna go into Italian Parmesan seasoning. Heck yes, these are not like wing flavors. Oh, but get ready. You ready? Ready? I'm gonna go Choco Mint flavor. What? That's a little bit too. That's fun. gonna go on some <laughs> ice cream. Apple pie. Ooh. Ooh. Scrum delicious. And. Pumpkin spice. Oh my gosh, how cool. That's going on some pumpkin pie. You know what I want to make immediately? Huh. Barbecue cream cheese. Cover it in one of those. Oh yeah. Smoke that bad boy. We've done a video. If you haven't seen it, we'll pop it up right there. Um, we're going to have to figure out a way to incorporate these into a recipe video for Jess's channel or a quick taste test at some point in the near future. Um, we'll just do some nuggets and do some dry, some dry dips or something. Nice. Um, I'm gonna have to get go back to the drawing board for a design for these. But yeah, for sure. These are really interesting sounding. I can't wait to try those. Do you want to open one just to taste it? I do. I want to try the, one. Do the. Pick chocolate mint. Pick chocolate mint. Let's you pick one to open and sniff and try. The end closest to you, Dad. He wants a pumpkin pie. You want a weird one too? Yeah. Not just a normal one. Pumpkin pie. All right. Let's just, let's dig in. Let's do some dry taste testing. I'm fine with that. I want to try this sweet barbecue seasoning because it has such an unusual color. Oh my gosh, that smells fantastic. Whoa. Whoo. That's... Kicks you. That's full right hey, there. open it. I'm... She's already... There's a layer inside. I can't open it. Oh, well, that's what your brother was saying. Just open it. No. Twist it. Well, she'd already done that part. We're already to the... Ooh. Well, I didn't have one of those parts. Yeah. Mine came out with it. There you go. Okay. Choco mint. Um, pumpkin spice is fantastic. Oh, you'll like this one. We got barbecue seasonings that we can dump on on ice cream. Right. Or on cakes. Or on. <laughs> or, in like coffee or hot chocolate. Co is Ooh, yeah. Covering that on the cream cheese would be fantastic. Okay, I want to try this. Oh, sweet barbecue one. seasoning. Everything is interestingly granulated in mm -hmm. those sweet ones. Okay, I think I'll get into side Yeah, I want to try the Italian one and the Parmesan. Can we just oh. get to the beef jockey no. now? <laughs> I, like I said, I, I didn't do any research. Um, I knew jerky was coming, but other stuff too I wasn't fully planned for. But this is low sodium, no MSG, gluten free. So that one's gluten free. Gluten free. This does. Gluten free. It smells like pizza. No MSG and gluten free and low sodium on. Try this one. Everything I'm seeing. This is the sweet barbecue. Sniff that. It smells like pizza. The, the pop, the top oh, it does. A little, oh. Sniff it. Oh wow. Okay, let's see. There we go. I want to try this one. The Italian Parmesan, fantastic. A little bit of a peppery heat in there. Good Italian flavoring. Um, can we just try them all? It's it's sweet already. barbecue seasoning. No. It has coconut in it. Totally unusual, but I'm loving that flavor. How unique. Oh, the veggie one smells good. That's good. Isn't that good? That is good. See, we were joking about barbecue rubs that I hated. <laughs> I get a box full of ones that are right? fantastic. Some of the most unique flavors I think I've ever tried. Yeah, love it. Well, we will work these into other videos at some point in the future. Um, this one. Excuse me. What is this? Veggie. Veggie blend. Ooh, try that one. <coughs> I shouldn't have done that. Ooh, that one tickled my throat. <clears> throat> Veggie blend's good. There's a slight sweetness to that ranch. It's almost like buttermilk. We're all just licking our hands. This is kind of gross. I apologize. Hey, I'm going to open this. <laughs> One moment. We weren't prepared. Yeah, we... there is like a really creamy. Right? Can you reopen that one for me? The tender sides. Um, These are really interesting. Yep, I dig them. Great flavor. Not, not uh, I mean, they're unusual, but they're not. Like, the flavors, once you get it, it's like, okay, that actually really works. This would be so good on a baked potato. Mm-hmm. Actually, so with the ranch. The thing about this one, 
It kind of smells like guinea pig truck food. <laughs> it's got a very herby smell so, to it. Anything barbecue, chicken, ribs, pork. Um, this one? I didn't taste this one. What, what do you the ranch one be good on? Popcorn, I'm assuming. Popcorn, baked potato, um, your cream cheese. Uh, chicken wings? Oh, yes. Yes. The veggie actually, one, too, actually. The Italian Parmesan seasoning, that mm -hmm. would be chicken wings. And no. potatoes. Ooh, you know the oven roasted potatoes? Those would yes. be good on those, too. Cool. What a great lineup of rubs. Fantastic. You decided to open that one, too? When I make a barbecue rub and I need a taste tester, <coughs> that's Maddie's job it's usually. Me? Uh -huh. Or Jamie. They're both. Jamie's starting to get him more into it, but Maddie has been for years. She's really good at picking, like, too much salt, not enough pepper, too sweet, this, that. She's got a really good palate. Well, there are some chunks of red pepper in here. I see that. Nice. Let me get some. All right. Let's, do the, let's do the last one right, right, right here, and Ooh. let's get into some oh, jerky. <coughs> what, what was that? American oh, heat. Whoo, it's got some heat. Yeah, pass that over this way. Um, Y'all didn't read the ingredients on that board, did you? <coughs> no. She probably wouldn't dump ghost powder pepper in your hands. Oh, yeah, it's got a lot of heat. <laughs> Jamie, that had ghost powder. Ghost pepper powder. Uh, <laughs> it's not a bad flavor, though. So, let's read the ingredients because people like to talk about, you know, Ooh. healthier or clean and right. not full of a bunch of crap, okay? Beet sugar, salt, paprika, cayenne, oh. honey, onion, garlic, chili powder, mustard, pepper, crushed red peppers, ghost peppers, herbs, and spices. Nice. So it doesn't even open yet, guys. That's no it. MSG, low sodium, gluten free. For most of these, there are some with gluten. Which ones? Um, this one. Okay. Doesn't specifically gluten free. Gluten -free I think down here it has been too. Gluten free, too. gluten free. So just this one. What flavor is that? Uh, apple. Oh, the apple pie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's gonna be a good. One. <laughs> oh, those are just regular green apple. Oh, I can smell that. I can't. My nose is stuffy. Oh. And that, I keep the go back to cream cheese in my head. And ice cream. I want a bowl of vanilla ice cream. I could just eat a bowl of that, actually. Actually, you know, on a rack of ribs at the very end. The little bit of sweetness. You're using apple wood for smoke. You're using brown sugars and salt and spices and everything. And you give that a nice coating of that flavor, too. Okay, guys, now for real, let's go to the turkey. <laughs> All right, these are amazing. Uh, you know, we were going to just push this off to the next video, but we, well, now we, it's done, we've so. been so intrigued. So here you go. We got them done. All right, one. Jamie wants to open one. the beef jerky. Going to go beef? They're all beef jerky. Bar well, no, they're not. This is bacon. There's, oh. There's a pork, there's a regular barbecue, and there's an orange, and there's spicy. This Jamie is, the is going one. for the barbecue. Go. On the other side oh. of the containers. How far did you read? The first paragraph. Should I read the second? If you'd like. Our wickedly awesome jerky starts well before the meat no, is I marinated for hours upon hours in a mouth-watering blend of seasonings that was passed down by our great ancestors who roamed the wild plains crafting the perfect jerky. It also starts well before the jerky God blesses with hands selected with hand selected premium cuts from only the finest sources of meat. It all starts with the idea that if we don't leave you begging for more, then we aren't living up to our word. And trust us, our word is stronger than a pissed off longhorn. More than 150 years ago, my forefathers came to Texas. They were cattlemen, and beef jerky was a staple of their existence. A century and a half later, I'm still carrying on that tradition with time honored mm -hmm. recipes that I guaranteed you will love. Yeah. Ranch warm. Mm. Yes, Maddie yeah. jumped ahead. I was just opening them. Maddie went ahead. Cheater. Sorry, bro. Hi. Hey. So really good. Good. I don't want the big one yet. I want to start with the beef one. Come on now. Okay, let me tear this one and share with you. Thanks. Oh. So there you go. Nice beef jerky piece. Here you go. Hi, you got mine now. <laughs> I can tell by looking at it, and right away, it's not that super dry out, like dehydrated, like leather. I like it like this. Have some chew. Has some life left to it, but not too moist and slimy, because I don't like that either. Good texture, 
Mm -hmm. Good amount of moisture still in it. Tons of flavor. A little bit of spice in that. Nice smoky flavor. I like that one a lot. I wouldn't use a spoon, Mom. Oh, no, you're not. <laughs> All right, I'm going to try the Wicked Cuts Orange Teriyaki. I feel like we should move this off to the side so people can still see them. You want to share with me again? Sure. Give me two seconds. Oh. No. Mm -hmm. can pull some off. Like it. Ooh. It smells like very orangey. Orange, you glad you just had some beef jerky? Yep. Ooh. What's this one? Orange teriyaki. What do you think of it? Mm -hmm. It's a subtle orange flavor. Mm hmm. I can smell the orange more than I can taste it. Mm hmm. Good teriyaki flavor on there. A little bit of sweet, a little bit of um, oh. saltiness to it. The back pepperiness. Mm hmm. Is beautiful. Absolutely love a peppery kick <coughs> on beef jerky. And that is so good. That not, seasoning messed me up. Mm -hmm. Not too sweet. No, just the right amount of sweet. Sometimes you get teriyaki and you it's going to be like sugar, like mm -hmm. sickly, gacky sweet. There is a, uh, a squirrel in the tree right there knocking down almonds. Oh. <laughs> and all the chickens are like, oh my gosh. Thank you. Sorry. Right. Squirrel. This is the premium jerky breakfast style. And this is the bacon jerky. So, Can I say that one more time as, as you were saying it? Thanks. No, thank you. Here, you want to break half that off? It's a piece of jerk of uh, bacon. It's a piece of bacon. Jerkified. So, stuck together. You made a back push? Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Oh, I the bag. Um. Oh, my gosh, that's so good. Not the bacon. So again, perfect amount of moisture. Because it's no good for me when it feels like sloppy, floppy, slimy bacon in a if, package. Especially with the bacon jerkies. Mm -hmm. If they come out slimy and moist feeling... Then I feel like I'm eating something raw. It and gets it in your head and it kind of creeps you out. Yeah. But you also don't want to be chewing on leather. But this one is amazing. Now, I'm going to go ahead and pass on the next one. <laughs> yeah, I like a what? Uh, Good saltiness on this too, yep. without being overly salted. All right, guys. I'm gonna leave. Hold on, you can't leave yet. I don't want to see you guys suffer. So. I do. Just kidding. There's a ton of ingredients in here, but there are for sure one tenth, less than one tenth of one percent. Oh wait, that's something different. Scorpion. Reaper. Cayenne, pineapple juice. Oh, that's nice. Uh, I also see ghost. I also see red pepper flakes. I'm gonna try the teeniest, tiniest piece, and so, I'm going to regret it. Probably. Um, I feel like I've just finally gotten over the last beef jerky. Even my, <laughs> I'm like. Yes. You know, it's, it's, it actually smells good. It has that. It smells like good pineapple-y. That pineapple, that's what I'm smelling, too. That, but it, you got to eat more than that. Look, I found a bigger piece. Here, you eat this piece. Oh, hey, good. your so. brother ate that size of the last one. You should do that one. Come on. Okay. Here. No. Oh, the upfront flavor is so amazing. Mm-hmm. Even that little bite. It's gonna die. It tastes the pineapple. It ate like a giant piece. Mm. And then it gets hot. A little bit. That well. I probably should have taken that big one piece. Burning um, my tongue. I'm glad I only took that small piece. Great flavor up front. I get the peppers at the back. And then I get sad. My ear is burning a little. A little. <clears throat> there it is. Burning all over my tongue. Okay. Uh, it's there. Um, these jerkies and rubs are amazing. Are amazing. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a fight in the house on who's going to...
claim which bag of jerky. I thought you were talking about you were just going to claim the toilet first. No. <laughs> I think I'll be okay. I, I was very cautious <sighs> about the size of pieces. Let me let me say this real quick. I'm I'm I might die. I don't have hiccups yet. And I almost always get hiccups with Reaper. But you're starting to get that. My mouth is going yeah. a little bit numb. You can hear my talking. Mm -hmm. But I want to say the flavor. The flavor on there is so good. I'm not a fan usually of Reaper and Ghost Pepper flavor. But the jerky itself has such a good flavor. It makes up for the pepper flavor. But even even that, this the, the way it's treated with everything else, it balances it out a little bit. It kind of calms down that abusive, aggressive flavor of mm -hmm. the peppers. And it makes it tolerable. I, I, I'm not mad. I think I'm going to keep this one. Do you think? I don't have hiccups. My ear canals are only slightly burning. I think I'm going to survive. Mm -hmm. And there's a great flavor. That's the most important thing. It can't be nasty. A great flavor. And burn. Okay, which is your favorite? Not this, this one. <laughs> this, that, that. I love this one. I Orange. love the citrus twist to it. Amazing. Both, second, both. Well, actually, and I can't do that. It would be tied, and then fifth place and sixth place. Mm -hmm. Fourth place, is first, second, barbecue third. This one fourth. Give Thank me, you, give me of uh, these rubs you guys saw. Which one is the most unique sounding, and what would you use it on? The Us or are you ones. asking the viewers? The viewer. Oh, sure. Give me a good like. Me. What would you put the chocolate mint oil on first? My you hands know? and eat it all. Popcorn. A chalky pie. Ooh, popcorn. What about a chalky pie? You okay? Yeah. You look at me like I'm what about it, to die. What, it, what about inside of chocolate uh, milk? Ooh, okay. that'd be good. To make a little bit more chocolate, chalky, chalky milk. Saw. <laughs> chocolate mint milk. Yeah. Mint chocolate milk. All right, we can cut. Thank you. Thank we you for thinking you. of us. These are great products. We will link all their uh, websites, Facebooks, whatever they've got. We'll link them down below. Yep. They have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Instagram. Wait. Uh, oh, Snapchat. Snapchat. I was like, what is that one? I couldn't tell. God. It looked like a bell. Oh, God, a little... It's a ghost. I see that now, but it Oof. was on the ripples of the packaging. The ghost has what? Ripples. Oh, we better eat this quick. We only have 72 hours. Don't worry, fam. I got you. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Wicked Cuts. We really appreciate you guys. are fantastic. Definitely check them out. Go to the website. We'll link wherever we can to find them. Yep. Show um, them some Big John TV love. Tell them we sent you. Go follow them and say, those products look delicious. <laughs> Ozzy's on his way. He's going to go tell everybody right now. Amazon. Um, yeah, you guys got to try some of these. These are fantastic. Really good. Yep. If, you're into, if you're into chili, you're into spice. These will be. These are gonna do. do, 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 do. These will do you good without killing it. Ozzy. There you go. All right. Where can they find Big John TV? Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Give us a like, subscribe, share these friends. Smash that like button. Give us a follow. Hit the subscribe. We love you. Leave a comment down below. What your What was the best looking item? Yep. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye. 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 Thank you.